Hello buddies, we are going to deal with nutrition, the second part, and we are going to talk about circulation and excretion. The circulatory system. The circulatory system consists of blood, blood vessels, and the heart. The blood consists of plasma, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Plasma. This is a clear fluid which transports nutrients and waste around the body. Red blood cells. They carry oxygen from the lungs to all body cells. White blood cells. These protect the body from germs and disease. And platelets. These are fragments of old cells. They help to stop bleeding from wounds. Blood vessels are tubes which transport blood throughout the body. There are three types. Arteries. These carry blood away from the heart towards old body tissues. Veins. These carry blood back to the heart from old body tissues. And finally, capillaries. It is where nutrients and oxygen pass into the body cells. And carbon dioxide and other waste products leave the cells. Heart. The heart is a special type of muscle. It acts as a pump to send blood around the body, through the blood vessels. The heart has four chambers, the right and left atria, where blood enters the heart, and the right and left ventricles, where blood leaves the heart. And here you are a picture. And this is also a picture of the circulatory system, where you can see the heart, the arteries, the veins, and the capillaries. Circulation. Blood carries nutrients and oxygen and collects carbon dioxide and waste. Blood moves constantly through two separate circuits, the pulmonary circuit and the systematic circuit. Pulmonary circulation. Step number one. Blood that is high in carbon dioxide enters the right atrium. Number two. Blood goes through the right ventricle towards the lungs. Number three. Gas exchange takes place in the air sacs. Number four. Blood that is high in oxygen enters the left atrium and then passes into the left ventricle. Systematic circulation. Step number one. Blood that is high in oxygen leaves the heart through the left ventricle. Number two. Blood travels through the arteries and reaches the capillaries of each organ. Number three. In the capillaries, blood releases oxygen and nutrients and obtains carbon dioxide and waste. Number four. Blood travels through the veins and returns to the heart. Circulation and health. Eat a healthy diet. Consume vegetable fats like olive oil, Foods that are high in iron, like pulses. Avoid eating too many carbohydrates and fats. Use salt in moderation. Exercise regularly. And do not smoke or consume excessive alcohol. Excretion. Excretion is the elimination of waste products from the blood. Excretion takes place in the excretory system, the respiratory system, and the sweat glands. The excretory system. It consists of the kidneys, the ureters, the bladder, and the urethra. Blood reaches the kidneys. Kidneys filter the blood, retain waste and produce urine. They also reabsorb nutrients and water and return them to the blood. Ureters carry urine from the kidneys to the bladder. Urine leaves the body through the urethra. Here you are of the excretory system, where you can see the kidneys, ureters, bladder and urethra. Sweat glands. They are long tubes located inside the skin. They connect to pore in the surface of the skin. They produce sweat. Sweat is water, mineral salts and waste. And here you are a drawing. Excretion and health. We are constantly eliminating water through urine and sweat, so we need to drink plenty of water. We have to keep our skin clean. And this is the end of the lesson, students. Remember, watch the video many times. Bye bye. Created using Powtoon.